So I'll go through real quick and just let you know what these folks do. So Jack Belisle is the Senior Director of Business Information Systems. Welcome, Jack. Shane Darnell is the Director of Business Technology Service Delivery. Welcome, Shane. Keita Hemphill is the Director of BTS, Service Management, Support, and Quality Assurance. Welcome, Keita. And Joe Stokel is the Director of IT Infrastructure. Welcome, Joe. Tim Hebert is going to moderate the session, so without further ado, I'll bring Tim to the stage. <laughs> Seems like this stage is getting smaller and smaller, huh? So as we get ready to start this panel discussion, I want to kind of just set the stage a little bit. About two years ago, um, I had the opportunity to meet the gentleman at, um, I think, uh, Jack and Joe. I think we went to lunch together the first time we met. And it was a typical get-to-know-each-other kind of sales kind of meeting. And you know how those go when you're a client and there's someone trying to sell you something and talk to you about doing more business with you. It's kind of an awkward, uncomfortable kind of meeting. You know those kind of meetings that you've, you've, been, you've been, had to suffer through? Um, and that meeting was a typical sales kind of client kind of meeting. First half of the meeting was uncomfortable. We're chatting about things. And I don't know how it happened, but almost at the same time, Jack and I said the word fusion. And the entire complexion of the conversation changed. We realized we had this affinity of passion of studying how IT and business work together to create a more fused environment. We started sharing ideas. And since that point in time, we've had many discussions. And so we thought it would be very good to bring a client that's, um, that's been doing fusion and working on trying to create a fused environment. And what we're looking with this group here to accomplish is we're talking predominantly how does the IT portion of the group actually start to build fusion from the inside of IT out towards the organization. That's the focus of this conversation. So what I'd like to do is start this by asking Jack to kind of take a few seconds to explain um, what business HP Hood is in and the role IT plays in the organization. OK. Um, HP Hood is a uh, $2.2 billion consumer products company. We're a food and beverage manufacturer, uh, largely dairy. Um, we're based in Boston, privately held, uh, 60 locations, about 20 manufacturing plants from Maine to California. Um, we are always on. Um, our factories work 7 by 24, and uh, we're very information driven. Uh, the, the plants are very automated, so if the IT portion doesn't work, the plants will stop. And we're also um, very information driven in terms of decision making. Um, our prices change every four weeks on all our products and it, all our customers have individual price, price lists because the government resets the cost of milk about every month. So that's what's one of the big drivers. So it's very information driven. Um, our, our IT function is uh, relatively small. We have 45 people. Um, that's down from 60 to 25 percent over the last three years, and uh, our budget is down a third over what it was four years ago. And so we're really doing more with less, and really believe uh, in fusion to make that happen. Um, and one final comment in closing, just sort of talk about fusion. Um, we actually retitled our department, so we used to be called um, uh, Information Technology Services. And then we retitled it last year to business, business technology services to try to reinforce the fact that um, IT is an enabling force, but it's really part of the business. We wanted to sort of remove that IT um, portion of the name to reinforce that. Well, thank you, Jack. Um, one of the things I find fascinating studying about fusion and, and how, to, how to think about it is how does the top level of the organization, the executive team, the board, executive team, senior leadership of an organization, how do they interact with IT to make meaningful decisions that move the company forward? And what I find in many cases, this, this part of the process isn't, doesn't function correctly in most organizations. It's usually a conduit between one person and one person on a team. For example, maybe a director of IT reporting to a CFO who's part of another, you know, part of the executive team, but it's never kind of an inclusive conversation. And so what I'd like to do is to talk about how we look at uh, prioritizi prioritizing IT projects, how we have and in, uh, in, um, enforce those kind of, uh, or embrace those kind of conversations with the executive team. And Keita, I understand that you are kind of initiating and driving that process. Yeah, I'm the facilitator of the IT Priority Committee. 
And basically what it is, is it's a monthly meeting. Um, we get together with the executives, and I'm not talking low-level executives, I'm talking the guys that spend the money and make all the decisions. And we talk to them about what their chief priorities are for us, budgetary, policy, request, large initiatives, all those things we discuss in those meetings. And Jack mentioned that we're a dairy a manufacturing company, but we also have a wholly owned subsidiary that's in the Midwest. We do the same process there. We do two separate meetings because we're on different ERP systems. We have prep meetings. We do those with a business team on one side of the house. We do it with the IT team after they've talked to the business folks and pull all the requests in. Pull all our information together, we go to the meeting, and we talk to the executives. And in some cases, it's us leading them. Other cases, it's them leading us. Um, but we usually we come out of that meeting with a good set of priorities, knowing where we're going, what we need to do, how we need to spend our money, um, and what other initiatives they've got on tap that are coming for us next so that we can plan for them. It's been a really good process. Um, actually, this committee started in 2006. It started right when I was hired with the company. And we've been facilitating and growing it every year going forward. So just as a, as a follow-up to what you just said, and so you have this meeting, um, you collect all this information, you have these great conversations. How do you communicate the, this information that you're collecting at these meetings with the rest of your, your business uh, technology or services team? We do it in a couple of different ways. Um, you know, internally we hold meetings and we do briefings and we say, hey, this was approved and this works. Or we'll go and talk to a business counterpart and say, well, you know, unfortunately your request wasn't approved or your request was approved and we're going to have this resource working with you. Those are some of the things we do and those are the lower level stuff. But like one of the initiatives, they came to us and they say, hey, you know, you guys have given us these mobile phones. We don't like them. They're not working well for us. Um, we need texting. Um, you won't give us texting. Most of my customers are texting me, texting me, and this is the sales force, and they won't respond to me on email. So we had to start a new initiative, and we had to work with the business team from the ground up to say, okay, well, we can give you these tools and things, but, you know, Jack mentioned our budget was cut pretty yeah. heavily. We've got to toe the line. So you guys have got to work with us and help us find different ways to help tool you and ex, you know, exchange, drive those costs, and hold the line there. So we've built committees, um, a cell phone selection team. It's the business folks, our heaviest users from sales and operations. We work with them. They're telling us what kind of devices work for them. They're telling us what kind of texting plans they need. I mean, before we were like, hey, if it wasn't a Windows phone, you can't have it. Today, we can't say those kind of things. So those are some of the key things that we do now. Very good.